Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're in House Flipper and the new expansion, the HGTV expansion, has launched for House Flipper. So I thought that I would take my very first look at it alongside you guys. So we're at our tablet and I'm presuming that we'll start with some jobs here on our tablet. So let's take a look. So okay, there's nothing new in the mail tab, but there is a new tab here labelled Map of Jobs and it's got a 1 so that looks like there's a job here so they're doing it differently to the way they've done it before because in the past everything's come through a mail and then we've chosen what we want to do oh wow it literally is a neighbourhood okay so how do we okay so we've, we've at literally oh it's the beach oh look we've actually got a beach and we've got a full neighbourhood. Oh, there's a little uh, hedge maze over there in the corner, look. Fire, fire truck out by some billboards, a little lake. Oh, you've got cars and things in. Oh, this is quite good. Oh, truck. Parasols in the backyard, little pavilions. Oh, sad there's a little ambulance here by the corner. And uh, three police cars together. Now, either that's a police station uh, or there's a party for policemen, maybe. Uh, I hope it's not a, a, a criminal offence going on. Right, so one house, this one at the front here, appears to be lit up. So is this our job? Yes, all right. So when it's got uh, the highlight around the edge, this is the one that's for the job. So that might be a little awkward to find them on the map, but I do like the way that they've done that. That's quite interesting. It's a, a new way of them doing the jobs, isn't it? A new way of them showing things and uh, creating things. So let's take a look. Oh, budget. We've got a budget. Oh, right. So it really has been done like one of these house rescue type things jobs or house transformation things that you do get on telly so they give you a budget they ask you to do jobs and you do them so it really is going to follow that theme oh this could be interesting because with a budget uh, we can't just go totally crazy and do loads and loads of things like we want to we've got to stick to the budget I presume so this means we're gonna have to do the bare basic bones of whatever's asked and then see if we've got any money left oh I wonder if it's going to be a tight budget so that we struggle to do things right so there are seven rooms that's a very small budget if we've actually got to do seven rooms. But there are two choices. So does this mean it's a seven room house and we're working on two rooms? In which case, if we're working on two rooms, that's a more sensible budget than if we've got to do the whole house. Right, so let's take a look. Job. A new beginnings. Welcome to your first job in Sunset Bay. Oh, right, so the place is called Sunset Bay. That's interesting. <clears throat> Are you ready to help John and Nicole renovate the house of their dreams? While the house is small, the view is amazing. Yeah, they're right on the beachfront by the looks of this. They're a beachfront property. You will have to make some decisions when it comes to room arrangement. The shack under the house is especially problematic. Good luck. Shack under the house? Oh, is it on stilts? When they say shack underneath, does that mean they've had to preserve something underneath or is it built on little stilts that leave? Oh, let's take a look because that sounds intriguing and crazy. Oh, so this is the house. Oh, yeah, so it is a house on stilts. So this is the house at the top. But then it's got like a, a basement of support pillars. I see why they sort of describe it as a shack, but it's more like huge pillars supporting it, isn't it? Uh, welcome to your first job in Sunset. Oh, this is the same thing, isn't it? It's saying exactly the same thing on the front front piece and on here. So we've got uh, John and Nicole. So we've actually got people. Oh, hang on. Are they following my... Yeah, they follow their eyes look are following the cursor. Okay, that's interesting. Right, so that just tells us the same thing that we read on the map, in case you missed it on the map, I guess. So garden they want us to remove trash we have a budget of four thousand seven hundred and ninety one pounds and i guess we have to make it to the white marker on the progress bar to be able to complete it but if we go all the way across i would imagine 
uh, the people that own the house would be happier. Right, so let's pull these dandelions out of the actual driveway. Just so that it looks like we've tried to do something. I don't think we'll be asked to do the garden because we have such a small budget. I don't think they'll be asking us to actually do anything with the garden. So I'm just going to remove a few of these weeds that are actually growing in the cracks on the driveway because I just think that looks bad. Right. So we need to get the cell tool and let's start by selling these pieces of rubbish that are out the front of our downstairs still area. Ah, oh, there is a door here. Oh, so is it like a little... Oh, right, so most of it, look, is actually just a big open stilt area downstairs. And the house is up. Because, presumably because it's a beachfront property, the worry is that some of the waves might get really high. I don't know. Or is it built upon stilts to give you a um, better view of the ocean? But the house itself up there looks quite nice, doesn't it? And I like these stairs leading up to it and the little walkways and everything. So that's quite cute. Oh, what's that? Is that a TV? Oh, a lot of garbage. Oh, no, we want to sell the garbage, don't we? Right, oh. It's a floating question mark. That usually means it's a quest. Ah, what should we do about that room? This is the choice thing, isn't it? Right, so Nicole says she wants a sauna and a bathroom. Being able to hop in the sauna after swimming in the sea sounds fantastic. That does actually sound quite nice. If you've got a bathroom, you could come off the beach and get cleaned up before you go into inside your house proper so you're not spreading sand and salt and everything everywhere. Uh, but And a sauna... If you're, if you're into the clean, open lifestyle and you want the beach and lots of outdoor life, then sauna might be that thing that sort of fits that. However, saunas are usually super, super expensive and we don't have a huge budget. So although I like what she's saying to do with the place, she's actually wanting both a sauna and a bathroom, that could get really expensive. And I'm not sure that the budget will actually fit her aspirational want. So what does... John want. John wants us just cleaning it up will suffice. This is a very capable storage room, maybe even suitable for a workshop. It could do with a chair though. So that's going to be the easy budget thing, but it sounds super boring and if you really really need a shed to store things, there's plenty of space in this still area to extend and build a, a, a sh either build a shed itself, either in the garden or in, under your still area, or to add a few walls and make a bigger room for a storage area. And because it's under the house, you could even have a few workbenches and things in the open and then store all the tools in a shed and then move them out when you need to work things. But um, I prefer her idea, but I'm worried about the budget. But I think his idea is so boring that I think we have to take Nicole's choice for down here. So that means we need to remove a lot of trash. So I think all the tools and things now we have to get rid of because we've chosen to go with her version. I think for his version we probably have sold some of the junk and then made um, some storage space and stuff. But I'm afraid his idea was just so boring. Right, so that's an awful lot of planks and things stored in here. But they don't look like it'd be in good condition, so I don't think you could really use them for repairs and things. So I think it's time to get rid of all of that stuff. That's a lot of stuff to sell, isn't it? And we haven't even looked at the house itself upstairs. So shall we be patient and do one room at a time, or should we have a run round everything? Nah, let's do let's do Nicole's sauna thing. But I think we do the basics first, and then oh no, there's another plank there. I think we do the basics first, and then we think about more um, stuff later. Right. So if we close the door and open it going outwards, right. So let's grab our cleaning things and let's just give it a quick sweep although I don't think it's actually it doesn't I don't see any dirt 
Let's just check that the dirt's actually, yeah, the way I, yes, because I, I just wanted to check that the minimap was still turned on after the expansion launch. But yes, we can still see the weeds in the garden, so it is. So there isn't actually a lot of dirt in here, though there were lots of things to sell. There wasn't actually any dirt in the room itself. So, right, so we're going to quick clean. Right, so we want to lay floor tiles, ceramic tiles, brown rectangles. Does that go throughout all? No. Lay floor tiles, floor panel dark. Okay. Oh, we've got a new bar, a task bar. Ooh. So it actually shows you the things it wants you to... Oh, if you click on the things in the task bar, it actually brings it up in the menu, so you don't have to type everything and look for it. Oh, that's a nice little feature for these jobs. I mean, we're still going to want to uh, look through things ourselves when we're ready to do our own uh, desires, but... Uh, for the jobs, having it so you can just click on the things they want means you're not going to make mistakes of buying the wrong thing and it makes it quicker to find them as well. Right, can we put the can we put that in the door frame? Beautiful. So that's the tiling they want. Although I don't tend to use this tiling, this brown tiling, because I just think the colour looks a bit dull. It actually really matches the wood panelling, doesn't it? Right, okay, so this is the sauna. No, so this little tiny room is the sauna and this little tiny room is the bathroom. It's a really tight space, isn't it? Right, so the sauna, they want a scenic sauna heater, one of, two sauna benches, two corner sauna benches, one sauna bucket with ladle and one sauna lamp. So like I said, we'll do the basics first. So the taskbar beautifully, nicely gives us all of the things we want. So that's the corner. So that's easy. Now, which colour should we go for? I think I quite like that. How does that match the colour? No, I don't think that does match the colour. It's too many different shades. So perhaps not the darker one. So I think perhaps either the American Elm or the Light is probably going to be the best for the room. Okay. And so let's try Light and then we'll see oh, which one do we prefer. I think I prefer the American Elm. So that's the one we're going to go with. Uh, none of the colours match any of the wood colours, so I find that slightly disconcerting. Alright, so let's get this in there. Which way shall we? Yes, I think. Uh, oh. I'm just trying to decide which way around to do it. I think we'll do it there. And then we need to rotate this to put it in the right in the corner because I think that's going to allow the bench seats to fit, isn't it? Right, then we want the benches, so we need two. And we went for the American Elm, didn't we? And we need two of these. So I'm hoping that that will... Right, I got that a little bit wrong, haven't I? So we want to rotate this like that I think to fit in there yeah and then we need a second one of these with the American L and then we need to make sure we rotate it so that it looks right is that right that's right yeah everything looks lined up doesn't it so that's the minimum seating that they wanted Right, so then they want a sauna heater, a sauna bucket, and a sauna lamp. Right, so the sauna heater. This this sauna might not be as expensive as I was orig originally thinking then. Right, so the heater can go in the corner. I think that's a sensible thing. And then the bucket should probably sit neatly in the gap. Well, I say, see, that fits quite nicely, actually. I was worried about the size of the space. 
and then we just need a lamp. We went for the American Elm for the seating, so let's go again. Uh, and they're saying one, but I'm not sure that one. All right, can we get you in the corner, fairly high up? And I think. Oh, why did that suddenly go weird? I was thinking we maybe want to put second one in. Oh, wait, that's kind of gone sideways. Can we get you up in the corner? Why, why did it? Why did it turn like that? Isn't that weird? Okay. That is actually the basics that they needed. I was just thinking maybe we should have a, another light in the opposite corner. Maybe we could get one in this corner. Like that. Have we got them in the right level? I think so. So this is the basic minimum that they're asking for this place. Like so. So just to see that's they're saying that's now completed and that didn't take as much of the bu budget as I was expecting it to. So we'll leave that as the bare minimum. We could always add a few towels and think actually maybe we should add a couple of towels just to be sure about that. Let's see. Oh, HGTV, walls, accessories, floors, furniture, doors. So there's an awful lot of new items in. Oh, we've got teapots. Fruit bowls, striped napkins. Oh, well, that's quite interesting. We've got all sorts of new stuff. Oh, it's got lots of things to explore, haven't we? Um, what's under other? Oh, wood. Wood piles of wood and different fireplaces. Oh, dream catchers. Oh, now this is quite interesting, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Um, oh, we've got new showers. Mirrors, pictures, painting the vases. Okay. Interesting. So, what we want to look for then is the towels. Now, I think. Ah, so under decorations, we've got lots of towels. So, this is what I was thinking of because these are like the sauna towels. And I was thinking we should have a few of these put like in the. just along here to make it look a little bit so it's, it's not a lot extra to add to the room but it's something useful you see for what we've got here so I quite like that idea of just adding that little tiny bit so now we need the bathroom in this room here so they want us to add a shower a toilet and a sink and oh and a glass sauna door of course that's going to have to go here isn't it so we want a door to separate so doors and windows. Oh, we've got some nice fancy etched doors and oh, open frames for actual open doorways for separating rooms and things out. Okay, so um, is the sauna door in the old? Oh. Now I like the fact that they've got all these new things under the HG TV thing, but a lot of the old sauna stuff is still under the sauna in the original tab so we've actually got two tabs now to look at if we're wanting to get particular pieces of furniture so that could be a I, I guess I understand why they've put it in a separate tab but it could be a little bit difficult when you're looking for things to purchase to put into your house because you might miss something that you would really like right, this sink because of the smallness of the room I want the um, hinge on that side so that it the door will open in so if, if I'm right yes yeah, so now the door opens to the wall so that's much more sensible a place for the door to be you see right so now we need to get this bathroom fitted so we're going to need to add plumbing because there's no plumbing oh no that is going to be expensive Plumbing is definitely an expensive thing, so that's going to be in here, and it's in the installations and 
Oh, we've got ventilation grills and all sorts of things. We've I've got a lot of new stuff, haven't we? Elegant light switches. So this, well, maybe the new stuff is under the old stuff as well. Maybe you can filter between the two. Hmm. Okay, installations. We actually want. All right. So where? Oh. So under installations now, there's an awful lot of extra things, look. So, right, we need a shower plumbing as the very first thing. So, where would that, where do we, do we put it here or here? I think here, if I can get it to fit. So we need to unscrew the access to the piping to be able to put in the shower. So now we need a shower. So under under bathroom. Let's see. There. So that the uh, that looks like a new. That is. It's a dryer. That's new. Um, now if we look under HGTV and we go for bathrooms. So yes, these three new showers are not in the original. Brass fittings, maybe. Actually, how big is this? Oh no, that's much too big. Right, so what we're going to want is one of those small showers, I think. The corner ones. Because of the size of the space, I think that's all that's going to fit is one of these types of things. How oh, big. If we go for the slightly blue glass and the white edge, just try and keep in with the Alright, where's the... That's interesting, it appears to be green regardless of where we are. There we are, alright. That was a little odd there, the green appeared to be green when it was it appeared to be through the, the actual floor, which is uh, a little odd. There we go. So that actually does fit quite well. There's not a lot of space here for the toilet. Alright, the toilet's going to have to go in the corner. And the sink is going to have to go here, so I don't think we've got a lot of space. This is this is quite a tight fit. Now we need to get the installations, and we're going to need when I can find them. We need a toilet plumbing system, and that's going to need to go there. And then we're going to want a sink which oops, scroll down a little bit kitty there's the sink one we will need the sink one and that is going to need to go there and then we need to unscrew the fittings there and then we need to find ourselves a toilet and a Right, so bathroom, we need a toilet, are there any new ones? I don't think there are any new toilets and sinks, just new showers in this, so um, so I think the, one of the compact ones sounds like the most sensible one, how about this one? And we'll go for the, should we add a touch of something to it or do we just go for Simple. Let's go for simple. Let's go for simple. Yes, it only just fits, to be fair. It only just fits, yes. And then we need a sink. I think we need something very simple in here as well for a sink, because so little space. I don't think one of these big units would fit. We might get away with one of these in a, a paler colour. We might get away with one of those. Where's the fittings? Hmm, I think that might be too... Right, so why is it? Yeah, I think it will fit actually. 
I was there, I was concer concerned that it wasn't going to fit, but I think Kitty was a little uh, overly concerned. I think it actually is going to fit just fine. So let's pop that in and uh, then we'll have done this first part of the job, won't we? where we've dropped some water and we've been fitting all of that. How does that look guys? That's not bad is it? So I think we do need to add a couple of things. So what else do we want on the task? We've put the flooring in. Oh no, they specified some of the things they wanted and I've put different ones in. Oh, Kitty, what have you done? Right, so, don't go doing your own choices in this job. You absolutely have to use what they want. <gasps> no, I've messed up. Oh, dear. Okay, guys, um, this could be a costly mistake to have made. Because I think we do lose a bit of money selling things, so... Uh, let's see if we can do it in budget, shall we? I was just thinking, I'm sure they'll want a mirror or something added to it, but... Uh <laughs> so there, the lesson to learn for all of you out there. Be very careful that you actually stick to what the task tells you to put, because... It would appear that you can mess up quite badly. <laughs> <laughs> and they have definite ideas about what they want. It's not a general brief, it's a specific brief. They tell you exactly what they want you to put in. Right, so that's everything that they've asked for. But I do still want to add a couple of little tiny touches because the bathroom just is too bare for me. We need a mirror. Oh, look, we've got like life boys and things oh i like these ideas all right so what's this oh this looks like rope around the edge this is all brown woods and things so this kind of fits the theme doesn't it how would that look it's so dark though i hope it wasn't the other one there's another one look this is very bright That could work, couldn't it? It's a little bit of colour, but it's not mm, maybe not enough colour. How about a really bright one? Will it fit? Yeah, we're going to do it. It might not be ideal because of the size and everything, but I just think because it's this type of expansion and it's that type of thing. Right, we want some towels. I think we definitely need a, a towel or two in here. And then we're not going to go overboard with any extra things. We will look later for if we've got more. Right, so do we have like a little rack? How about that? We make the hanger lighter in colour and see if we can like add that. Perfect. And then we need a toilet roll holder, of course, because accessories, bathroom. Oh, good. We've got extra categories. Oh, look at all the towels. Oh, that's really good, actually. I like that. Uh, we're just going to go for a very simple toilet roll holder I'm going to put a spot back there like that and I think that that looks quite good actually I rather like that so that I think is the downstairs room completed so there we go so it's one quite last quick look we've got all the items that they required and you don't want too much stuff in a sauna because they just get destroyed by the steam so simple is actually better like so and then the bathroom as they wanted it kitted out and I just added a couple of accessories for a little splash and pop of colour so that it's not completely boring to look at and you've got everything that you absolutely needed for coming in 
after your beach time for the day. So I think that's where we'll leave it for today. And then, then in the next episode, we will go upstairs and we will do the second choice and all of the items that need to be done in the upstairs. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming!